So here's my control box. I don't have it mounted to the side yet. I haven't quite decided what I want to do yet. Um, I don't want to put too much into the side of the freezer not knowing what is inside there. So I'm trying to make it freestanding um, with just some slight attachment to the side. But uh, I put a 15 foot power cord rated for 20 amps. goes into the box. Um, also is the output to the freezer, output to the pump, and then also uh, temperature probe for the uh, temperature controller. Uh, inside the box I installed a GFCI uh, protection circuit. So that's just right on the incoming power. So everything gets run through that GFCI. That then powers the ink bird directly, um, which of course then controls through the cooling circuit the freezer. Um, so for the ink bird, I use the ink bird ITC 308 digital. Two stage controller. Um, also use the Marine Land Magnum polishing internal canister filter, um, the one up to 97 gallons, ML90770-00. So those are the those two components. So I used the Inkbird ITC 308 Digital. I did not get the Wi-Fi one. Um, I see some people say the Wi-Fi one's easier. Um, I have no need to do it remotely. Um, and this is pretty easy. I mean, you, you turn it on, hold set. Uh, it then goes into different uh, settings. I got mine set to 40 degrees right now. Go up or down from there. Uh, press set to hold. Uh, I have it go only one degree, so if it gets up to 41, it turns on. Uh, it's got an alarm for a high, alarm for low. Hopefully, it never gets minus 40. Yeah, I'm not sure what all the other settings are, but. I got it set to C, you can change it to F right here. Excuse me, I have it set to F, you can change it to C right here. Um, again, I, I have it set to 40 degrees. Once you get what you wanted for a setting, you hold set, and it's going. So it's set to 40 degrees, right now it's reading 40.4, um, and it's pretty accurate. So I'm reading 40.4 degrees. Come in here and I'll measure anywhere 40.6, 40.4, 40.2, so very accurate. I mean, we're not doing anything scientific, so very accurate. Um, as you can see, my, my pump fell again. It's got three suction cups on here um, on the back. They just don't work very well uh, for me for some reason. So um, I can typically get it to stay for a couple days, but it just doesn't like like that. Um, so I'm using chlorine. You can see that I got one tablet in there now. This has been going for I think almost six weeks. First one lasted about three weeks. Um, this one, it's getting down there. So yeah, you can see my pond armor. It's, it seems to be holding up well. I like the feel of it. It's a little bit, uh, I don't wanna say rubbery, but kind of soft. Real happy with, with the water clarity. 
and how, how clean it's been. Again, it's been about six weeks. I go in almost daily, so. I did get the Whirlpool freezer. So one thing I like to use, I use a little kitchen timer. Uh, easily reset, start the timer to get in. Um, when I'm cold plunging, I don't want to have to think about how long I'm in there. Um, keep looking at a clock. So you can either set a timer or just um, glance over it when you, when you think you've been in there long enough. I typically only sit in there three to five minutes. At least three minutes, um, probably average four. Um, it's magnetic, you know, just move it wherever you want. So I can, I lift up the freezer set it somewhere, you know, set it in there with me, wherever. Not sure if it's waterproof, but it's pretty cheap. It's like five, six bucks on Amazon. So yeah, the GFCI, you know, it's in there. Not so I can use it with power on. I always unplug it. Plug it from there before using. Real happy with this freezer and setup. I can sit in there for five minutes, you know. Lid's probably open six, seven minutes by the time I get in, get out. Um, drops about a degree. Um, recovers very quickly. Luckily on the farm here we have well water. Uh, when I filled it, the water was already 54 degrees about three in the afternoon. By nine the next morning, uh, it was down to 37. So I did move it back up to 40 degrees. 40 degrees just feels comfortable to me lately. Can't say I say it's easier than 37, but right now 40 is working for me, so I'm going with it. I'll eventually uh, put a couple holes in the cover of the freezer for these two cords, uh, route them through the back. I got plenty of extra wire inside um, to route them neatly, some flex from the cover opens. I just wanted to make sure everything worked before I drilled holes in it and did stuff like that. So I'm enjoying it too much to actually put more work into it right now, but I'll get to it. So yeah, this was just a box I had at work. It is a little overkill. Um, could have been a lot smaller, but it but it's free. Um, I may look at mounting this, so uh, this is on the cover with holes for the access for the uh, reset. Um, and then also mount this so I can see it through the cover as well. Um, so I'm not reaching in inside. There is no live wires uh, that are a danger. I just be neat to have a cover showing the LEDs on it and access to the reset. Because every time I do unplug the freezer to get into it, when I plug it back in, I do have to reset it to turn it back on. It's just part of that circuit. May look at getting a different one that I don't have to reset it either. Because if power ever goes out while I'm gone, um, I have to reset it when I get home. It's just what I had for now. It works, it's free. So I did put a mat on the floor Again, we live on a farm, it's dirty outside, so try and keep my feet clean before I go in. Keep the dog hair off. Yeah, I hope this helps guys. Feel free to ask questions. Enjoy.